Hey guys, welcome to Brian's Man Cave. So today I'm going to be playing, in well, Dragon Quest, which is also known as Dragon Warrior, on the Intellivision. Uh, well, this is really a, a demo. It's not, I don't believe it's complete. The programmer put it up just so people could give it a shot, take it, take a look at it. Um, and, you know, I, I've only dabbled in it, like, for a few seconds just to make sure it worked on my system. But it seems like it's a really cool uh, port of the game. Anyways, yeah, I mean, there's been a lot of great games from the Nintendo era showing up on the Intellivision recently. I mean, we just had uh, the Super Mario Brothers game was ported over. It was shown at the uh, Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Um, we had Televania. Uh, there, there's been a bunch of uh, titles that have actually been popping out for the uh, Intellivision. So, uh, oh, yeah, I just wanted to give this one a try because it looks really good. And uh, just gonna put the audio back on here. As you can see, it's a uh, looks like the uh, the Dragon Quest logo. I've been playing Dragon Quest actually on the uh, on the Nintendo Switch, which it's a kind of a amped up version of it with the uh, newer graphics. So you can see it gives you a continue option or a new quest. Um, well, I mean, I can just do a new quest. Uh, B M. Um, well, you gotta put something else. I'm just gonna put this here. Are you sure? Yes. I mean, even these menu screens are, are really good. Uh, really looks like, uh... I'm gonna just put normal. There you are. <laughs> that looks cool. I mean, it looks like Dragon Warrior. Descendant of Adric. Listen now to my words. A lot of reading. I'm not gonna sit here and read it all. Uh, you probably, you might have played this game before. I don't know. If not, it's a it's a fun RPG style game. Um, you know, one of the first ones for the uh, one of them, the first ones for the Nintendo. I mean, there was um, Final Fantasy as well. There was a, a few that were on the system, but this one I remember playing it uh, when I was a teenager. I didn't own it for a long time, but. Uh, the kids I was babysitting for one summer, they had it on their Nintendo, and, you know, I got to their house early, uh, the kids were all sleeping, and I decided to start playing this game. So you can see your, your, uh, stats, stats show up when you stop walking. So it's, uh, level one, hit points, uh, yeah, all the fun stuff there. Um, so yeah, you gotta use, uh, the menu item, uh, the menu to pick things up. So I'm on a treasure chest, so I'm gonna take it. Um, the, so the Nintendo did the exact same thing, but the uh, Dragon Quest on the uh, on the Switch they changed it, and they, also I think when they released it on the Game Boy, that you don't have to go to the menu to take things. You just push the button, <laughs> and it'll just take it. Same with the stairs. To to use the stairs or the doors, you don't have to just go to the menu every time because it is kind of tedious. Found the magical key. I'm going to talk to these guys. He will disappear, but the door will open. <laughs> Just that extra step they wanted to put in there. East of this town is where you can buy your stuff. Yeah. So, yeah, i got to go back to the menu. I believe um, he shared a picture of how the overlay would look like. And I think you could also push the buttons on the, uh, the keypad. Um, to access these as well. Uh, what do I want? I want uh, door. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. You can see how I have to do it every time. Um, so it's it's much better on the uh, Switch version and the Game Boy one where you could just uh, stand on the stairs and it goes down. So you got all these guys to talk to. I'm not going to talk to every one of them, but I want to walk around just so you guys can see how, uh, you know, how, how true this is to the original. It's very inspiring seeing games like these made on the Intellivision. It really shows what can be done. And it really, uh, you know, for people like me who like to make my own games as well, this is a real encouragement to, to, to see that this can happen. Even the music is, like, spot on, like... I can't believe that this is, uh, you know, on an Intellivision and not, not the NES that <laughs> I'm playing this. 
let's go into the open world. There's uh, that's a town there. There's all the grass. I like the water. I like the movement of the water. It's a nice touch added in there. Okay, so we got our first enemy. It's the blue slime. I'm gonna fight him. This probably has the same. I, I don't know. I I'm not sure if this has the same um, system as the NES one, where it takes forever to gain experience in the in gold. The uh, Dragon Quest I've been playing on the Switch, and on the Game Boy version too, um, it doesn't take as long. You, you get a lot more uh, experience, a lot more gold, and it doesn't take forever to, to get up to level 10 or, or whatever. But the Nintendo version, the NES version, takes forever. <laughs> you grind and grind and grind. Excellent move, alright. Go. Oh. I believe if uh, you start running low, you have to go to a, a rest until you get the magic heal. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't. Actually, I don't. Yeah, spell. Uh, okay, can't use a spell. Let's go into the town. I think that's the other thing that was eliminated too. You don't have to hit the talk every time you go up to a, a person in the uh, newer ones. But I guess when he made this, he wanted to make it uh, uh, pretty much the same as Nintendo's version. Uh, yeah, talk. Traveler's in. Do I have enough mo money? How much do I have? Oh, I have 124 gold. Yes. Okay, good night's sleep. <laughs> After take a, taking a pummeling from those little slime balls. See him when your levels are raised. Now like I said, this is a demo. He, he did say in the forums that it's not completed, so I don't know how much of this game is completed. And uh, this was posted about a year ago, or maybe, no, maybe the end of last year. So, I don't know, again, I don't know if he's been working on this, or if it's just, you know, another side project, and it'll be a one-day release. Even when I first tried the uh, Super Mario Brothers, uh, it was, it's a demo, uh, the one that I played about a year ago, or maybe two years ago, and uh, now it's finally completed. There was a, a boxed one sold at the uh, Retro Gaming Ep Expo. I've, I've seen a few YouTubers talk about it. Let's see if I can find any more. Oh no! Let's see if I can run away. Yay! There's the cave. Uh oh, red slime. Not sure if there's a difference between the red and the blue as far as how strong they are. Nice. Excellent move. Oh, got to done. Level 2. I'm stronger. Just love these scrolling menus, too. I, I have no idea how he did that. <laughs> Uh-oh. And I'm dying, too. Great. That ain't good. Experience I need 16. It's got a lot of slimes I gotta kill. Oh, yeah. I'm just gonna assume that this entire game is 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 gonna be exactly like the uh, the NES one. Just like I said, I I've been playing the Dragon Quest on the Switch, and it it's pretty much the same game. It's just different graphics and some improvements here and there. I also downloaded or bought the uh, second one, 
which I've never completed, even on the Game Boy, I've never completed the second one. And I started playing it and I, I got lost, so I don't know if I'm gonna have to start over. So I got to a point where I'm like, everything is too strong for me and I can't get out of the uh, area I'm in. I don't know. I don't know what I did. <laughs> this ghost thing is killing me. Uh oh, uh oh. Should have ran. I think he's gonna kill me. Come on, die. Oh! <laughs> See, you gotta grind. You gotta do the grind for a while. You gotta kill all the slimes for about, I don't know, an hour. <laughs> and then you can get somewhere. Anyways, this is looking great. I mean, this is something that'll be... Uh, if it gets released, it, I'm sure a lot of people are gonna love it. Um, the Super Mario Brothers game is great. The Castlevania and Televania game is great. So, I mean, this is coming along nicely, and hopefully he can finish it one day. Anyways, let me know what you think. Throw some comments down below. Hope you subscribe. We'll talk to you later. That shall not take me. 15. I will get thy experience. How do I get there? Oh, the stairs. Stairs and status look the same.